my name is Ellie Lopes, and I'll be talking about Megan. <laughs> Meg, I just want to start off with the most obvious. You are beautiful, strong, hilarious, smart, spontaneous, and so down to earth. All the reasons why I love you so much. I am glad we became friends during senior year. Wish it had happened earlier though. But it's great to know that we will never lose touch with each other. I am ready for the shopping plans and our college visits. I've enjoyed all, our, all of our talks this year and all of our laughs that we have shared. You are one of the only few people who asked me about my weekends or what I was planning on doing next year. You are a great person to talk to because you're never boring, you're cool about everything, and you're really understanding. I can't wait to see what the next couple of years have in store for you. I'll miss you so much, but I'll definitely make sure we keep in touch. You'll always be my party girl, and I'll always miss being on the right side of the advisory room with you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Shiner and I'm speaking about Dylan Emmer. Dylan is an outgoing young man who is not afraid to be himself. Not only that, but he is very funny as well. One particular funny moment I remember of him that will be hard to forget is the 80s spirit day. Dylan came into advisor with a group of the boys dressed in a half tank top, shorts and headbands. <laughs> to top off those cool outfits, they decided to run through the high school as if it was actually an 80s track and field meet. Watching Dylan run reminded me of Richard Simmons sweating to the Olympics. <laughs> Dylan, I know you will continue to bring your confident personality with you wherever you go, and best of luck in Marine Corps. Speaking for Jerrica, Jerrica is one of the nicest girls I have ever met. Sometimes when we talk, we playfully attack each other just to get each other to laugh once in a while. The greatest thing about Jerrica is that she has a theater voice when she sings. Plus, she is a fantastic actress. When I went to see her in the play Into the Woods, I was hypnotized. It was hysterical, saddening, and joyful to the ears. I enjoy seeing her in the zone when she's acting. Besides her being a theater genius, she's someone you can always talk to, to no matter what. So she can make you laugh, cry, and you can be more enthusiastic than you've ever been in your entire life. Her independence makes her stand out among the crowd. She will console you when you really need it most, and she will speak her mind anytime, anywhere, so watch what you say. Like the saying goes, you mess with a bull, you will get the horns. Good luck and best wishes. I've known this girl since the day we were born. Yes, my one and only twin, Sabrina. <laughs> she is not what you think. She's just as loud and fun-loving as you guys. Even though she gets on my nerves day and night, I still love her. Now, Sabrina has driven me up the wall since I can remember. From all the arguments and cold shoulders and somewhat witty comments to the throwing of empty water bottles, pillows, and pencils, we did have fun together. No, we didn't switch to trick people. It's been done before, an old twin trick. What we do, what we do now, and you guys know this, we meow or hiss at each other <laughs> when one of us are annoying the other. I sort of started all that cat mess, and we kept it ever since. And the stupid twin language never existed. Sorry. <laughs> but those rare instances when we do the exact same thing without realizing it is what I will miss. Sabrina's a great artist. She's very dedicated. So dedicated that all the paper in our house could be found in her room. <laughs> all our notebooks and binders, she would have them filled with paper. And not to mention the gallons of paint, markers, colored pencils, and charcoal she would collect in these art sets my mom would buy her. Yeah, I'm going to miss her, but not so much. You know why? Because all I have to do is look in the mirror, and there she is. <laughs> Smiling back at me every day with that goofy grin, and insane laugh, and creepy wide eyes. <laughs> Congratulations on the New England Institute of Art. Thank goodness it's small, because I really don't want to have to go looking for you when you walk off or get lost. I've had enough of that in Paris. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am Francesca, I guess, arguer, and I'll be talking about Smith's Cake Bay. 
So my name is Kate and I have been in the same school since the fifth grade, but we didn't really meet and start talking until freshman year. We had some good laughs that year, but we still didn't know each other very well. I can honestly say that I didn't truly get to know her until this year, when we went to Paris and Rome on the senior trip. Sam and I shared a lot of laughs, and then a few months later at the senior sleepover, we shared a lot of dance moves. Well, Sam actually did most of the dancing because I can't dance. <laughs> since then, I have enjoyed every moment I've had with her. I'm sad to say goodbye to my friend Sam, but I'm happy to know that I'll always have a friend in her. Good luck next year, Mom Ida, Samantha. My name is Daisha. My best friend Jess. <laughs> There's so much I could say about this girl. Instead of wasting time stating all the things I love about her, I'll state what I actually do not like. <laughs> Jess started BCCS in the fifth grade and me in the sixth. It's a shame that our friendship began during our senior trip to Paris and Rome. We would sit and wonder why it took so long for us to actually become friends. Maybe it's because we weren't really in the same classes, or it may simply be the fact that we never really tried to get to know, to know each other. Either way, my only dislike is not becoming friends sooner. I guess the trip to Paris and Rome was a major turning point because not only did we become best friends and create memories that will last a lifetime, but I introduced you to the love of your life, Marco. <laughs> well, maybe not introduce so much as force you two together. Anyway, I'm excited for what the future holds for our friendship and I won't hesitate to make road trips to Birmingham State and stay the weekend. I love you and I'm proud of you for your accomplishments of graduating and continuing your education in college. P.S. I call dibs on being the maid of honor at you and Marco's wedding. <laughs> no offense, JP. My name is Roy, and I'm speaking about Lauren Swaki, my best friend. Lauren. In eighth grade, I remember sitting down next to a girl with a baked potato. <laughs> Immediately, I knew we were going to be friends. In ninth grade, you helped me with all my struggles, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have made it this far. Spending hours at your house doing homework, chilling at the park or the beach, venting, and going bowling are all memories that will stay with me with many more to come. Don't worry, we won't lose touch, because I'll definitely visit you in Framingham, and your mother and I are definitely going to party up there with you. <laughs> Remember in ninth grade when we spent all of our days at Christina's house with our horse, and we watched movies and ordered food? Remember when we all just sat around and hated the world? Well, I think it's fair to say that we learned from each other, grew together, and we will forever be best friends. Good luck at Framingham. I'll definitely see you around. This is not a goodbye, it's a see you later. Prior to freshman year, Marco and I were very close, but we shared mutual friends. We started to get to know each other in classes that we shared, and now I consider him one of the closest friends that I have in grade. Last year, Marco and I dissected a rat during biology class. <laughs> And I don't know who had more fun with it, me or him, because it's safe to say that we're both equally weird, especially when we're together. Even though, it dissect, even though we were dissecting the animal, Marco still thought it would be funny to name the rat Mr. Bigglesworth, which is an example of big, which makes him fun to be around. I'm happy that next year, Marco, Peter, and I will be taking the next step in life together as we attend, attend Framingham State because I'm always going to need a good laugh on him. Good luck, Marco, and I can't wait to spend the next few years with you after the eight that we have already done.